Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 31. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so welcome to Apricot Hill Raceway. This is going to be a very nice track. This is the uh, second longest track, I think, uh, as of lap times in this championship. Very nice. Very good corners here. We are at 30 points so far, so uh, the rules are now we can come second in the next two races and we will still win, guaranteed. Uh, but if we come third, we have to come I think we can come third and third, and we'll be level. But if we come second, we have to come. Uh, if we come third, we preferably would want to come first again. We've got another Dunlop thing. Is that an official Dunlop sponsor, though? I would presume it is. Awesome. Oh, that was very bad. Very bad corner there. In fact, this lap time is much quicker than I was expected. Awesome. Oh, careful. Perfect. We've got three seconds to gain. Let's go and do it. Perfect. Awesome. there. Nice. Perfect. Absolutely loving this so far. Actually going through the other rider's body there. I think lap number two is going to be our fastest lap. Because uh, I don't think we're going to get any quicker than that. If we do, that would be impressive. There's a massive like gust of wind just came through my window then. And something just went crash outside. I think something fell over. Very good through the chicane there. We're going to have ourselves two more laps. Nice. 
Two more laps to prove that we are fast. I was holding down the button properly then. Lovely. The other superbike is insanely quick for this series. No wonder we struggled in Tokyo for that first race before we swapped the bike. Because uh, we wouldn't have stood a chance going against that with the Honda that we had. We couldn't even get between, uh, get past third place after three laps. So, yeah, if we carried on with that bike, we would have lost every single race, guaranteed. Rear tyres are starting to go yellow. So uh, we're looking at some fairly substantial tyre wear. I think as well at the end of this, we're going to uh, customise our rider again. Give him a new, fresh set of clothes. Make him look good. We're also going to get a new bike as well, so sick. A little bit of weaving. Why not? Oh! Nice recovery there. The weird thing about uh, these videos, these um, tourist trophy videos, and anything that I've recorded on the PS2 is every single one, right, takes up probably about 800 megabytes every single recording, which is tiny compared to like Yakuza's 6 gigabytes, 7 gigabytes. But then when I edit it and I finalize the video, that 6 gigabyte of Yakuza would end up being 1.5 gigabytes. This ends up being about 1.1 from 800 megabytes. We gain storage. How does that work? We lose it with Yakuza, but we gain it with Taurus Trophy. Huh? My brain exactly. Just like, no. Too much to handle. Kaboom. Very nice. And there we go, across the finish line. We got ourselves a nice 7 minutes and 35 second total time, which is good. I will now take that, I will take everything, and I will leave. After saving the replay, of course. Right, here we are at Trial Mountain. The one track that has been in every single Gran Turismo from day one. Except for GT Sport. Hmm, GT Sport ruined the franchise. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, something stuck in my throat. <coughs> GT Sport shit. Um, but yes, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, but we are here with a guaranteed win of the championship, 40 points. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, for context of that clip, <laughs> the reason why I say GC Sport isn't a great game is because they milked it too much. It's not because it's crap, because it was a very good multiplayer test. That's all it was, was a multiplayer test. It's not a full-on game. Um, and obviously, with the... Uh, two weeks that I had playing it before, you know, I didn't have access to the console anymore. But the two weeks I had playing it was an enjoyable experience. Definitely taught me a lot about racing because of the fact that it teaches you more. A whole lot more. That wind is insane. But it teaches you a whole lot more about racing than any of the other Gran Turismo's. The only problem is, where's the content? You've got the GT League, but there's not too much to it. 
there's no story aspect. You just pick a car and you race. You get so many cars for free. And the daily workout gives you cars. And it's... I don't like it. Too much. So if they're going to do the daily workout, they need to do the level system. So you level up your game. Right? And you... You don't get daily workout until you hit level 25. And that's when you get to near finish in the story. Or you... At least when you do it, you have to get to, say, 50% completion of the story to get your daily workout. Which will then give you some of the 700 cards. Which you can probably do 50% of Gran Turismo with only 20, 30 cards. So it's not like it's going to be pointless because there's going to be thousands of cars in that game. They're going to have to. Otherwise, no one's going to buy it. Forza has nearly a thousand cars in it, Horizon now. Forza Horizon has over 800. Easy. So it needs to beat that. And bearing in mind, Gran Turismo 5 had in the thousands of cars. They're going to have to do it as well in GT7 with more and more. Obviously, they added more quality cars, but they still need that quantity. They still need all those old cars still there. You get rid of them, what's the point? That is my daily GT7 run, or GT Sport run. I mean, to see as well only what? How many, how many cars are there in GT Sport? I think there was only like a hundred odd or something. And they're all racing cars, yes. So that obviously proves there's going to be a lot of racing cars in GT7. Uh, something that was quite clearly missing. So hopefully we can see a lot of like GT3 events, GT4, GT2, GT1, Group X, stuff like that. Insane events. And the one thing I do like about Gran Turismo Sport is the length of the GT League. There was the format of it and the way you unlock it was a bit crap. It wasn't ideal. Because of the fact that you could just go do your track experience and you were already at level 20. Like the maximum level, whatever it was. But if you do um you get, obviously, your cars with your licenses, with your track experience. I, I would like to see track experience come back. That would be amazing. Um, but to see all that would be insane. And then also um, having the length of the races. Because each race was actually a decent length. It wasn't like a three minute sprint race like every single race in Gran Turismo 6 was. They were longer races. And if they make the amount of races that they had, but like five or six laps for most of them. Like this game. We could be looking on a massive game with so much content. And there is so much potential. And all they have to do is change a number from three to five. Which I think they did that with GT Sport to make it bigger. But um, they did it a bit too much. Some of the races were a bit too long. But they just need to find that right balance of length, content, and all that stuff. And they could have themselves a banging game. And at time of recording, still nothing about Gran Turismo or um, PS5 reveal. So this is obviously... We might know what's going to happen by now. It might be released by now. Who knows? Awesome. Rear tire is struggling. It's like, no, I don't want to do this no more. We might have a crash on our hands. No! I saw the wobble, and as soon as we went over the jump, there was no way of recovering that wobble. 
I weeble and I wobble and I might fall down. Nice. Oh, nearly fell off our bike there. Not great. Okay, so the rear tyres are crying out for help right now. Come on. thing you have to give uh, Gran Turismo Sport props for is the accurate tyre model. Like, the tyre wear is actually accurate now. It doesn't, like, wear out after, like, 10 laps, 15 laps, like it did in previous games. Which is a massive bonus. Amazing to see that. Right, I'm going to have to slow down because I don't want to uh, crash this time. Awesome. Oh, close. Close, but no cigar. Nice. Coming up to the final chicane. There we go. Oh. Much slower lap time there. 141.2. Okay. Interesting. That was very decent, though. Very decent. And there we go. We have 50 points. We have passed this championship. Epic. Let's go see what rewards we got. And here we go. We got ourselves some riding gear. We got the right. All right, RX7, double R4, one to be. What? What? There? There? Whatever. There's a massive bang outside my window. And we got a Yoshimura. This is a new brand we have not seen yet. And that looks awesome. I want to see if I can take that for the next one. That is really cool. And we got ourselves a special racer number four, the BMW bike. The number one. Very nice. Uh, so what is the next championship going to be? That is going to be the heavyweight series. Okay, cool. Nice. Um... Let's go take a look at new stuff because we've gotten quite a lot of riding gear in the past few episodes. So uh, let's go get ourselves kitted out with something new. It's mostly going to be a new helmet, but uh, let's see if we've got some nice designs for it. I do like that one. That would be nice with like the green. Oh, we've had that before actually because I remember it looking like a frog. It does look like a frog. That's nice. That's not so nice. Yeah, I definitely feel like I want to take the red bomb here. Uh, let's cancel that for now because uh, we need to go get red everything. Red Alpine stars. Look at that. That is a good outfit. Very nice. Let's save that. Go back to the menu and there's our helmet very nice so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe if you want to help support the channel then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description and don't forget to check out the description for our social links we have instagram discord and twitter but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye like